who needs traps? I got two livestock guardian dogs. So they took care of a farm pest that we've had pestering us for the last probably three years. Now, they only took care of one of them, and there's, I think there's four of them. So they destroy our trees, so that should tell you what they are. But... Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. I'm out here with the goats. I wanna do something a little different today than I've done here recently. The goats have been in this pasture for quite a while, basically since breeding season started. But typically I let them out and they roam, you know, throughout the farm, throughout all these other pastures. Now we have taken down all the fence, so there's not anything to keep them in. But as long as I stay out here with them and keep them interested in some pellets and some food, you know, I, I don't think they're gonna go too far. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna open up this fence, open up this gate right here. We're gonna let them out so they can come eat some of this green grass and just have about an hour out here where they can eat some fresh food, uh, not stuck in their pasture. All right, so I'm gonna, uh-oh. Okay, so I wanna set you guys up on the tripod, open all this up and let you kind of watch them come out. Okay, y'all, this is kind of funny. My dad just snuck out of the house. He's not allowed to be by himself. He got in the golf cart and pulled right there. We keep the golf cart right by the front porch just in case we have to put him in it and take him to the car real quick for emergencies. Uh, but he got in it and, and I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to stop what I'm doing and go deal with this real quick and help my mom. Okay, I sort of got that handled. I got him over there with my mom, she's getting in. We don't like, we don't even like to let him drive, but she's gonna let him drive for a little bit. Try to convince him to go back inside. <laughs> See, they're probably gonna come over here, so. Anyway, let's open this up and let them out real quick. I think the babies will probably stay in there. And that's okay, because I kinda wanna focus on the babies anyway in this video. Okay, we're gonna have to pause this for just a second. Okay, Papa, we gotta let Mimo drive. Your sight's not good enough. No, you almost went yep, in that he, hole. You almost went in the ditch. No, Papa. She turned it. She no, did, so she would miss it. Yes. No. I it that yes. Way. I didn't you were driving. It that way. I watched. You were driving straight I at didn't it. Didn't want to go in that soft mud. Okay, let let Mimo scoot over and let Mimo drive. No. Papa, you can't do this. Your sight is not good enough. You don't, you all, you literally were in the grass and almost ran into the ditch. Scoot over, let, let me mow in there. Oh my, oh, sorry. The only reason I was watching him, I was like, well, he might run over my camera. I better keep an eye on him. <laughs> all right. All right, there they go. I don't know how much of that I'm going to keep in the video. Y'all didn't get to see any of it, but I'm sure I'm going to keep some of the audio in. Okay, let's, let's get to this again. Let's try this one more time. Come on, goats. Y'all ready? Go to goats. Funny thing is, is they may not want to just come straight. Nope, nope, nope. Y'all can't eat the food. Nope, you can't eat the food. Ha ha. There's no food in there anyway. Ha ha. Don't knock over my camera. They're all excited. Come on, goats. Some of the babies came out, y'all. Come on, goats. Go to goats. All right, y'all, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to push these other goats out the other way. Go on. Go on. Okay, y'all, some of them made it out. 
the other ones will figure it out eventually. Okay, so this is what I wanted. Like, this is what I was talking about. Just let them out. They'll eat a bunch of this green grass. And then the way I'm going to get them back in is just bring a feed bucket straight through there, and they'll come right back through with me. I was hoping some of the babies wouldn't get out so we could focus on the babies, but that's okay. They want to explore too. Here's cookies and cream, y'all. <laughs> See all the babies running and jumping. That's kind of what I wanted. All right, come on. Come on. There you go. Come on, baby. Don't go that way. Yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah, go that way. Good job. Yeah, this is what I was wanting. I kind of want to just focus on the babies and just let them play and let y'all watch them play. The problem is they're going to be interested in what their moms are doing, so they're going to focus on their moms over here. They are so sure-footed, just so early, so young. Oh, did y'all see that? That's Kara's little baby. I got good news about her, her mama, Kara. Her bag has completely filled in, so she's getting plenty of milk, y'all. Oh man, I missed some of that. All right, I'm just gonna quit talking. Just let y'all watch the baby goats. Whoop! <laughs> it did not hurt him. He's right back at it. So now y'all see why I took the nails out in one of those other videos. So these three right here are all girls. So I'm kind of curious to see what will happen when the mamas get over towards the bucks. What the bucks will do. If they'll jump the fence or what. Well, we're about to find out.
This one can't figure it out. <laughs> well, hello. Did we ever come up with the name with you? I think we did. These two right here play fighting. Boy, well, he's running 90 to nothing. Uh oh, found his way out. babies. A lot of the babies are out. Hey, cookies. Cookies and cream, come here. Come here. Oh, look at that one. You act like you're cold. All right, let's get out and see what's going on over there. Man, looks like I got goats everywhere. Hi, buddy. So I do like seeing this. The bucks are not at all interested. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, they're loving this. I'll probably do this every day that I can spare an hour or an hour and a half or two hours even where I can just come out, be with them, let them eat, let them get out of their pasture. Uh, they're gonna get tons of protein like this because none of this has been eaten on in a long time. Well, Chip and Megatron, they were out like last month for about four to eight days, somewhere in there. I'd put them in, they'd get back out. I'd put them in, they'd get back out. So they ate on this a little bit, but I got their fence fixed. So the only way they're getting out now is by jumping it, not going through it. And they're not, they're not great jumpers. <laughs> this is awesome. This is good. This is what you want to see. This one over here is trying to eat rocks, it looks like. So it looks like Samoa's baby's just gonna stay with her. Just eat all day. <laughs> That's Bottle Cap's previous baby from two years ago and she's trying to get to her. She wants to stay with her. Like I'm surprised this goat right here is not with Cinnamon. This is her baby, Cinnamon's baby from two years ago. What are y'all doing? You've never been separated from your mamas like this before, huh? Oh, look, she's trying to go through the wrong way. Don't go through that way, buddy. Here, I'll just leave. I'll leave, that way you're not scared. I still have about four or five baby goats back that way. No, don't go through that way. Don't go through that way. Beauty's baby and Beauty, both right there. You gonna stay with them too? Huh? Yeah? Oh. But yeah, they are gonna get tons of protein, y'all. Well, Yelena got jealous.
So I'm pretty sure all I'm gonna have to do to get them to come back is go get my bucket and shake it. And they should just come right back and I can lead them straight into the pen. Well, see a couple of them are going towards the barn anyway. They know that's where the feed comes from, the grain. All right, let's go focus on some baby goats again. That's really what this video is about, or supposed to be, is about the, the baby goats. I really did not expect any of them to come out of the pen, out, out of the pasture. I've done this in the past in different kidding, kidding seasons, and the baby goats stay in there for the most part. They don't even follow the moms out. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe that's because I do it earlier in the season. Like it's January, it's cold. They stay under, you know, shelter, I guess. But we kind of have the cutest ones right here. So let's go in and take a look. So this little black one's Snickers. That is Trixie's baby. Kind of looks like her. <laughs> that is Ginger's baby right there. Probably the tallest baby goat I have. She's a single and she is wild, 100% wild. Kara's baby. This is Cinnamon's, no, I'm sorry, not Cinnamon's, uh, Bottle Cap's baby. It's a little girl. The one on the left here, the brown one on the left is Cinnamon's girl. The one on the right is um, Samoa's boy. Then obviously you can see the triplets, Oreo's triplets. These two are boys, that's the girl. Again, Ginger's girl. She's gonna be a big goat. She's gonna she's gonna look really good. I said that was Samoa's. That might be jumpers. Because I get jumpers and Samoa's mixed up. They're real similar. <laughs> okay. That's Samoa's. Because he hears his mama. Samoa right there crying. Hi, cookies. Hello. Your mama's enjoying some food right now. It's okay. She'll come back to you, I promise. These two are just busy at it. She is pretty. So the taller one is the youngest baby goat. But she's the biggest because she was a single. And then the next youngest is this other white and brown one right here, uh, Kara's baby. That's my three littlest right there. I don't know where they're going. Look at Ginger, y'all. Way over there.
I just can't get over these two. These two are my cutest, I think. Trixie's babies. I wish they were both girls. This one's the girl, and that tan one is the boy. <laughs> She's coming back, I promise. I promise. You want me to call them in? You ready for me to call them in? It hadn't been an hour yet. Let it be an hour. Let's let them eat for an hour. She's arguing with me. Hi, buddy. This is what I love to see right here, y'all. All the baby goats together, just playing, just having a good time, being babies. And then the two in the background, that white and black one in the background, that's what they'll look like this time next year. Probably a little bigger than that, but they won't be so playful anymore. Still cute, but not as cute. That's Crybaby's baby from last year, y'all. Hello. <laughs> They're so funny. This cold weather or cool, it's not cold, it's cool weather. Kind of makes them active. They want to go play. That's not y'all's mama. <laughs> they got confused. <laughs> okay, a lot of the goats have walked back past the carport. I don't really want them going down that far necessarily with, with their babies. Some of them are still up here, but let's see if we can call them back. Go to go! Good job, mamas. Good job. Well, Silas is with them, so that's good. And Yelena, they were both out, out there with them, so they'll be protected as long as the dogs are out there with them. I just want them to stay in this area and eat for today. 
Maybe tomorrow I'll walk out there back in that, all those trees with them tomorrow. Look at the babies, the babies ran up against the fence. <laughs> Some of the babies aren't worried at all. They're just over here playing. They're just having a good time. Okay, I think I've got so much video that I've probably got over 20 minutes worth of video. And y'all know I don't like to keep y'all more than 30 minutes. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for just a little bit. Watch the goats, keep track of them. Elena went all the way down in that ditch. Elena, come here. So I'll come back to you guys here in a few minutes and uh, we'll, we'll bring them all back in with some grain, with some feed and show you how to bring them in. Well, I called for Elena and look at this. They're all coming over here. I wanted just the dog to come out of the ravine. Y'all stay out there and eat. Oh geez, they're all going crazy. They think their mamas are coming in. Y'all's mamas aren't gonna come in. They'll stay out there. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. They are coming in. Well, y'all, I may not have to do anything. Nope. There's a blockade. They're they're uh, gonna go back out. Okay, false alarm. Going back out. Let's go eat some more. Oh, all the babies are gonna go with them this time. Oh, <laughs> look at that. All the babies went. Well, not all of them. Still got some playfulness in here. Well, the goats made it all the way up here by the house which this is kind of their favorite spot to eat anyway. I don't know why, but they love coming up here. Probably because the chickens keep it fertilized real well. Are your baby staying with you, girl? Where's your mama? Where's Ginger? Ginger, Ginger's the furthest one away, way over there. Okay, so I'm going to sneak to the barn, get the five gallon bucket full of grain. They won't know until I show it to them and I'll get them to follow me into the pasture, hopefully. We'll see how this works. So I'm getting ready to go live. Right after I put the goats up, it'll be time to go live probably. So my thumbnail and my title was, someone left the gate open, all the goats are out. So I kind of hooked y'all in my live to make y'all come over and watch this video on Monday, because this will be a Monday video, but the live is gonna to be today, which is Friday. So yeah, I left the gate open. I opened it on purpose to let them out, so. I thought it was kind of funny. Grain is in these two buckets. We'll get some out of each, because it's different protein, a little bit different grain. I uh, just put it in this bucket and we'll carry it down and get everything in position, and then I'll call for them. What are those birds doing up there? Well, y'all probably can't see it, but Silas and Yelena ran in and ran straight over to this area and the birds were circling that. So I'm gonna have to go check that out. Plus I got two little baby goats right there by the trash can. All right, I'm definitely gonna go check that out though. That's suspicious. Okay, I got the bucket. Yelena's still over there by whatever they ran over to. Silas came back, he's walking up to me. And there's several little baby goats right here by the trash can. Well, hello. My four cutest goats right here. There they go. <laughs> this one is just so adorable. Hi. You're a little cutie. So Yelena is still over there. I don't think I had a goat give birth today. I need to go check that out and make sure though. Okay, so I gotta dump out all the water from the rain a couple of days ago. Still got water in it. 
Okay, we're gonna see what happens here. I'll turn the volume down when I yell this. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna pour, let me pour the feed in here first, or most of it at least. I may just, they may just start coming when they hear this. All right, I'm gonna go do the other side. Go to goats! Come on, goats! Okay, I'm gonna have to go show them the bucket probably because they're so far away. Yep, here they come, come on, come on. Go to goats! Not all of them are coming, darn it. Go to goats! Well, hello. <laughs> you gotta stay over to the side. Look, I already got it poured in there. It's already in there. Come on, crybaby, it's already here. Oh, really? Y'all can't figure that part out. I still got some out, darn it. Okay, we got them all in but one. Baby goats are easier to get in. They want to go back to their mama. All right, just turn left right there. Hurry up. I don't want that goat to get out. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. How come the door is not checked? No, I, I got it propped open. Oh. I'll let them out. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to get real close, but... The reason Elena ran, ran over here and Silas, that's a beaver, y'all. So they have killed a beaver. <laughs> I've been trying to get that beaver for over a year. Actually, probably over two years. And I've got several beavers over here. They're destroying some of the trees. But I guess uh, Silas and Elena took care of that problem for me. Hmm, never knew. All right, so I'm not gonna get up close and personal with that, so that's as close as I'm gonna get to that picture, so. But you can kind of see a dark spot right there. That's a turtle, well, it just went under. But y'all can see right where that beaver comes through, right here where that slide is. Let me zoom in on that. Crazy birds. Vultures, they're just waiting for Elena to leave it, but Elena wants to protect her kill. <laughs> That's crazy. So we have on game camera, I've caught probably, oh, wow. There's the uh, beaver tail. So on my game camera, I've got about maybe four, I think is the most I've seen at one time on the same picture, on the same game camera picture. So that's just one of four. Elena. Good girl, good job. Yeah, that's a good job, sure is. That's a good job, good girl. I don't need traps. Who needs traps? I got two livestock guardian dogs. So they took care of a farm pest that we've had pestering us for the last probably three years. Now, they only took care of one of them and there's, I think there's four of them. All the goats look good. We're about to go live. So you guys are gonna see that thumbnail and title with the gate open. Who left the gate open? Well, no one left it open. I opened it on purpose. I wanted to give them some fresh protein, some fresh grass to eat on. It's kind of a little harder to get them back in here than I thought it would be, but I think it was because they were so far away. They were literally a thousand feet away from their fence. So it's hard for them to hear me. It's hard for them to see that I have a red bucket in my hand. So that's part of the problem. Okay, so we're going to close this video out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I love videoing the goats. It's probably the, you know, it's really the one animal on the farm that I really do love. I love them all, but this is my favorite. All right, we'll see y'all on the next video, and also I'll see you on a live. 
Well, for y'all, it was like three days ago, but for me, it's right now. Okay, y'all, we'll see you on the next one. Remember, do the good. Feller family farm. Come on.